Hello everyone and welcome to IT Knowledge Base. In this video lecture, I am going to demonstrate to you step by step how to configure side to side VPN over an IPsec tunnel, which is the most secure and meets today's security standards, and then verify an IPsec side to side VPN tunnel using virtual tunnel interface. So, to reiterate, these are the three parts of the Mastering VPN video series in the PS Trans Firewall. In part 1, I have discussed in very great detail how to configure PFSense OpenVPN side to side VPN in pair to pair shared key mode. And then I have created part 2, continuation with the part 1 video lecture. We have seen practically how to convert your existing pair to pair shared key into pair to pair SSL TLS mode, which was super fast and easy, but certainly not very difficult if you follow along the accurate orders. Now, in this final part 3 of this series, I will show you how to install and configure a side-to-side -side VPN over an IPsec VPN tunnel from the scratch. To establish an interconnection between your head office and branches, I am using the most updated version of the PFSense Firewall 2.7.0 release throughout this series. This is the most updated version at the time of this recording. All the video part series links have been provided in the description area. But mark my words, after these side-to-side -side VPN training series, you will become a perfectionist and a completionist. I was simply inquisitive about creating a side-to-side -side VPN configuration series and particular fondness for demystifying the configuration of different types of VPN protocols for everyone. So you guys easily grasp all the required and essential configurations without any irritation and configure confidently in your PFSense firewall to protect and secure your infrastructure. Introduction to Site-to-Site -side VPN over IPsec VPN Tunnel a quick definition, Internet Protocol Security, commonly known as IPsec, is a method of encrypting packets that make VPNs possible. IPsec is a suite of protocols. IPsec can authenticate and encrypt data passing over Internet Protocol networks. IPsec provides a standard-based VPN implementation that is compatible with a wide range of clients for mobile connectivity and other devices for site-to-site -side connectivity. It supports numerous third-party devices and is being used in production with devices ranging from consumer-grade Linksys router up to IBM Z OS mainframes and everything imaginable in between. Content to cover in this lecture and the scenario of PFSense side-to-side VPN. First, we will create IPsec Phase 1 on head office PFSense, then successively create an IPsec Phase 2 on head office PFSense as well. And then we will complete our configuration after creating a firewall rule on the head office PFSense firewall. Then we will move on to our branch office. And there we will create IPsec phase 1 on branch office PFSense. Then successively create IPsec phase 2 on branch office PFSense. And then we will complete our configuration after creating a firewall rule on the branch office PFSense firewall. And in step number 7, we will perform testing the tunnel and final thoughts. Consideration. IPsec VPN is a layer 3 protocol that communicates over IP protocol number 50, encapsulating security payload or ESP. It also requires UDP port 500 for Internet Key Exchange or IKE to manage encryption keys and UDP port 4500 for IPsec NAT T or NAT traversal. Sometimes if the UDP ports are blocked, VPN devices try to use TCP port 500 and TCP port 4500 and make sure you open both TCP and UDP protocols. If your internet is not directly connected to the PFSense firewall, then make sure you open these ports from the border edge internet facing router or firewall to forward this traffic to your PFSense firewall. Network diagram, the scenario PFSense side to side VPN. I try to keep this example scenario as simple as possible. Therefore, I created an easy to understand self-explaining diagram. This video covers the configuration of an IPsec VPN between two firewalls. The configuration is for a PFSense firewall, but the principle applies to all devices on the market supporting IPsec. This should give you a pretty good understanding of what we want to achieve. We simply want to establish a PFSense side-to-side -side VPN connection between head office PFSense and branch office PFSense at remote location. To do this, we need to create IPsec tunnel and firewall rules on both sides. I kept the subnet simple so you don't get confused by too many different IPs. The gateway in your case would be your WAN IP address. Without further ado, let's get right started. Let's start from our head office PFSense first. To create a PFSense side-to-side -side IPsec VPN, log into your primary or head office PFSense firewall. Now navigate to VPN, click on IPsec. In the tunnel tab, now click on Add P1 or Phase 1. Type the description and this is only for administrative reference. I would prefer to write S2SBO. 
or branch office. Disable, check this to disable phase one and thus disable IPsec VPN. Key exchange version, allow you to choose the version of the IKE or internet key exchange protocol. Choose IKE version 2. If the other pair does not support IKE version 2 or if there is any doubt, I would recommend choosing auto. In the internet protocol, there is IP version 4, IP version 6 or both. In our case, I will select IP version 4. In the interface, choose WAN, which is normally the interface on which the IPsec pair should be reachable. Remote gateway, this is the public IP address of the remote pair. In our case, it's 192.168.11.90 Authentication method, the simplest and most common is choose mutual PSK and it is recommended. My identifier, by default this is the public IP address so we leave the value my IP address. Pair identifier, by default this is the public IP address too so we leave the value pair IP address. Pre-shared key, it must be the same for both pairs, head office and branches. It can be what you want or you can let PFSense generate it. This is some type of long pre-shared or passphrase that allow you to connect your devices and networks. And that's what I am doing here. Click on generate new pre-shared key. And copy the pre-shared key on the notepad. We will use this pre-shared key in our remote branches to connect. Encryption algorithm. If both parties or both sites support AES GCM, we recommend the use of AES 256 GCM or AES 128 GCM. This will provide a good level of encryption and will be compatible with the cryptographic acceleration offered by AES NI. Otherwise, ideally choose AES with a key length of 256 bit, but we will go with AES 256 GCM here. In the expiration and replacement, lifetime seconds or rest, just keep the default value. And in advanced option, just keep the default value as well. Now scroll down and click on the save button. The phase 1 configuration is completed. Now move on to phase 2 which is the key configuration. On the IPsec VPN tunnel page for our phase 1 entry we just created. We click successively on the show phase 2 entries. And then click on add P2 or phase 2. Type the description. This is only for administrative reference and I would prefer to write P2 land one site dash BO or branch office. Disable. Check this case to disable this phase 2. Mode. Keep the default value tunnel IP version 4 is fine. Local network. The local subnet is reachable through this VPN. In our case, we choose LAN subnet. NAT or BI NAT translation if the actual local network must be hidden from the far side. It is very useful if site A and site B share the same subnet. But in our case, we choose none. And in the remote network, enter branch office or your site B office LAN subnet, which is in our case 10.0.30.0/24. Protocol choose ESP or encapsulating security payload to perform encryption and authentication. AH or authentication header is not really useful anymore. It provides a mechanism for authentication only. The ESP protocol provides data confidentiality, encryption and authentication. Select ESP, encryption algorithm. If both sites or both parties support AES GCM, we recommend the use of AES 256 GCM or AES 128 GCM. This will provide a good level of encryption and will be compatible with the cryptographic acceleration offered by AES NI. Otherwise, ideally choose AES with a key length of 256 bit, but we will go with AES 256 GCM and 128 bit. Hash algorithms keep the default SHA 256 for the hash function. PFS key group default is 14 for the value of the Defi Hellman group and it's fine. Lifetime just keep the default value. Rekey and runtime leave it default. Automatically ping host an IP address in the remote phase 2 network to ping to keep the tunnel alive. It could be the private IP address of the remote firewall. In our case, we choose 10.0.30.27, the IP address of the branch office PFSense firewall. Now click on the save button. 
and don't forget to click on apply changes button. You could create another phase 2 for various remote subnets if have one. Now the first phase 2 configuration is completed. Now create a firewall rule. Navigate to firewall, rules and click on IPsec tab. Click on add. Enter the values as the following. Action should be select to pass. Disable the rule if you like for maintenance or some sort of troubleshooting. Interface should be set to IPsec. Address family set to IP version 4 because we are intentionally go with IP version 4 only. Change protocol to any. For source select network. Enter the subnet of branch office remote location network and that is 10.0.30.0 slash 24. Now enter a friendly description. I would prefer to write allow all traffic from branch office. Hit save and apply changes. That's it. We are done with the head office PFSense firewall. Now let's head over to our branch office PFSense remote location to create our PFSense site to site IPsec VPN tunnel. Now I am at my branch office site and this is my second PFSense firewall. Log in to your branch office PFSense firewall. And here we have to repeat the same steps once again along with some minor changes. I will guide you through every step anyway. Navigate to VPN. Click on IPsec. And in the tunnel tab, click on add P1 or phase 1. Now type the description only for administrative reference. I would prefer to write S2SHO or site to site head office. Disable. Check this to disable this phase 1 and thus disable the IPsec VPN. Key exchange version, this should be matched with the head office PFSense configuration. In our case, choose IKE version 2. Internet protocol, IP version 4, IP version 6 or both. In our case, it's IP version 4, allowing IP version 4 explicit traffic only. Interface, choose WAN, which is normally the interface on which the IPsec pair should be reachable. Remote Gateway, type the public IP address of Head Office PFSense Firewall. In our case, it's 192.168.11.80. Authentication method, virtual PSK is fine. My identifier, by default, this is the public IP address. So we leave the value my IP address. Pair identifier, by default, this is the public IP address too. So we leave the value pair IP address. Appreciate key, it must be the same for both pairs. So simply copy and paste the same pre-shade key from the head office PFSense firewall to here. Encryption algorithm, choose AES-256 GCM. As we have already said this on the head office side, so all the settings should be matching, otherwise the connection will not be established. In the expiration and replacement, lifetime seconds or rest, just keep the default value. In the advanced option, just keep the default values as well. Now click on the save button. The phase 1 configuration is completed. Now move on to phase 2 which is the key configuration. On the IPsec VPN tunnel page for our P1 entry we just created. We click successively on the show phase 2 entry. And then click on add P2 or phase 2. Type the description only for administrative reference. I would prefer to write P2 LAN1 site HO or head office. Disable, check this to disable this phase 2. Mode, keep the default value, tunnel IP version 4. Local network, the local subnet is reachable through this VPN. In our case, we choose LAN subnet and that is fine. Net, DI net translation, we will remain left to none because settings should be matched with the head office configuration except a few. Remote network, in our case, 10.0.20.0/24 is our head office side LAN subnet. Or we will create another phase 2 if have one. Protocol, choose ESP. AH is not really used and we have configured it though. But remember, always use ESP on all VPN sites. The ESP protocol provides data confidentiality, encryption and authentication. Encryption algorithm, both sites agree to go with and I recommend the use of AES-256 GCM or AES-128 GCM. We will go with AES-256 GCM and 128 bit. Hash algorithm, keep SHA-256 for the hash function. PFS key group, 14 for the value of the DeFi element group is fine. 
Lifetime, just keep the value default. Rekey and runtime, leave it default. Automatically ping host. An IP address in the remote phase 2 network to ping to keep the tunnel alive. It could be the private IP address of the remote firewall. In our case, we choose 10.0.20.27 as the IP address of the head office PFSense firewall. Now click on save button and don't forget to click on the apply changes button. The first phase 2 configuration is completed. And now create a firewall rule. Navigate to firewall. Click on rules. And now click on IP sector. Click on add. And enter the values as the following. Action should be select to pass. Disable the rule if you liked for maintenance or some sort of troubleshooting. Interface should be set to IPsec. Address family set to IP version 4. Because we are intentionally going with IP version 4 only. Change protocol to any. For source, select network. Enter the subnet of head office. 10.0.20.0 slash 24. Enter a description. Allow all traffic from head office. Hit save and apply changes. Now in theory, a tunnel should be established between the two. Now testing the tunnel. In our branch office PFL firewall, head to status and click on IP sector. You should see if everything went well, the connection should be established. We can do more things to validate if the site-to-site -side VPN IP sector is established and firewall rules are correct. Run a ping from a client on each firewall subnet. Now open a terminal to ping your head office client IP. Type ping 10.0.20.10 and hit enter. And affirmative. Echo is replying back to branch office. You will see a similar depiction on the head office side of PFSense as well. Let's jump on to our head office PFSense firewall. Head to status and click on IPsec. You should see if everything went well. The connection should be established. Now open a terminal to ping your branch office network. Try ping 10.0.30.10 and hit enter. And it's working either. Now open the second tab and check if the branch office web server is accessible from that office or not. The configuration is completed and both sites are now interconnected and able to ping and share resources with each other effortlessly. And sure enough, you can see that the connection is established. Let's conclude the stuff. Now you should have a good impression of how to create and configure a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN tunnel between your head office and various branches. This is our final part 3 of the PFSense VPN series. In part 1, I showed you how to configure site-to-site -site VPN on pair-to-pair -pair shared key mode, which is deprecated nowadays. And in continuation, the next part 2 of this series, I have shown you how to convert or transition into pair-to-pair -pair SSL TNS mode to enhance the security and meet today's security standard. This is the final part 3 of this VPN series and I have concluded with about how to configure a site-to-site -side VPN over an IPsec tunnel from the scratch. Just to show you, we could also establish an interconnection between the head office and several branches over a site-to-site -side IPsec VPN tunnel. And sure enough, you can see that a connection is established. Alright, that is all for the now. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.